Good day class, welcome to our weekly lesson, preparing an acid mixture. In this lesson, we are going to identify the ingredients in preparing an acid mixture, demonstrate the procedures in preparing an acid mixture, and lastly, observe the safety procedures in preparing an acid mixture. To test your prior knowledge in this topic, first let us answer the pretest. Determine what is being asked in each number by choosing the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on your answer sheet. You have 5 seconds to answer each number. Number 1. Besides pectin, what is the other titany agent you should look out for? Letter A, acid, B, denatured alcohol, C, sugar, D, yeast. The correct answer is letter A. Number 2. Which among the following prevents pectin to form? Letter A, gel networks, B, lumps, C, sugar, D, none of the above. The correct answer is letter A. Number 3, what else does the answer to question number 2 do to pectin? A. Helping it set B. Changing the fruit's taste C. Changing the fruit's appearance or D. Preventing small lumps from forming The correct answer is letter A. When making an acid mixture, what is the first step you should do? Letter A. Fry the fruits B. Peel the fruits C. Boil the fruits in water or D. Season the fruits with sugar The correct answer is letter C Number 5. What consistency should you achieve after doing the first step? Letter A, runny, B, solid, C, thick, or D, thin. The correct answer is letter C. Who got the perfect score? Great job! To those who passed, good job. To those who almost passed, it's alright. Your score in pretest will not be recorded because this is only a pre-assessment. What matters is what you will learn after the course of this module. From our previous lesson, we've learned the different reminders on preparing the raw ingredients for concentrated sugar mixture. Now, let's answer looking back on your answer sheet. In a paragraph that consists of 5 sentences, explain the importance of pectin in making a concentrated sugar mixture. Let's now proceed to our lesson. Preparing an acid mixture In the process of making a concentrated sugar mixture, besides pectin, acid is also an important content to look out for. 
in boiling your fruits, some of their pectin content is released. As we learned from our previous module, pectin helps bind your sugar concentrated mixture to achieve its thick consistency. However, acidity in fruits plays a big role in preventing pectin to form gel networks and helping it set. With this in mind, we should also check our fruits for their acidity level. Here are the steps you need to remember in creating an acid mixture. Step 1. Boil the fruit in water until the thick consistency is achieved. Step 2. Take one half cup of the fruit juice and transfer it to a container. Leave it to cool down. Step 3. Place the probe of the pH meter in the sample and leave it for 1 to 2 minutes. And step 4. Once the reading has stabilized, record the pH level. Take note. A pH level of 3.2 is the most ideal level for your fruit. If the pH level is beyond 3.2, citric acid from lemon, orange, or lime may be added. And now for your activity. By using the sample graphic organizer, explain your ideas on acid mixture that you have learned from this lesson. This is the sample graphic organizer. Another things to remember. Acid is necessary to prevent pectin from creating gel networks as well as helping the pectin set. Always remember to follow the steps in making an acid mixture to have an accurate reading on the pH meter. And lastly, a pH level of 3.2 is the most ideal for your fruit. If it's beyond the ideal level, you can add citric acid from fruits like lemon, orange, or lime. And now for another activity. Read and answer the following questions below. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. What is the importance of acid in making sugar concentrated mixture? 2. Why is it important to remember the steps in making an acid mixture? And lastly, will the fruit's acidity level affect your concentrated sugar mixture? Why or why not? And now for our assessment, you will answer the following questions to assess what you have learned today. Fill in the block the correct word that best completes the following steps in making an acid mixture. Write your answer on your answer sheet. You have 5 seconds to answer each number. Number 1. Boil the blank in water until a blank consistency is achieved. The answers are fruit and thick. Number 2. Take one half blank of the fruit blank and transfer it to a container. Leave it to cool down. The answers are cup and 
food. Number 3. Place the blank of the pH meter in the sample and leave it for 1 to 2 blank. The answers are probe and minutes. Number 4. Once the blank has stabilized, record the pH level. The answer is reading. And last number, number 5, a pH level of blank is the most ideal level for your fruit. If the pH level is beyond such level, citric acid from blank, orange, or lime may be added. The answers are 3.2 and lemon. I hope that you understand our lesson for this week. Thank you and God bless.